mad, um, but there's not much I can do about it. We are on a sleeper train. It is our first proper day in Vietnam on our honeymoon. Ryan's there. Um, we booked, like us being snobby, we booked like the nice one, you know. We didn't want anyone else sharing it with us, so we like paid, I think, for the four the full birth thing but for two people like it's an option you can do which is still super cheap um, in comparison to what it would cost in England um, and we just saw cockroaches in our thing just like climbing up on the walls we've got four four cockroaches four cockroaches were on the table over here um, I think they were just from the free fruit we were given yeah I think they were just on the fruit we're hoping, otherwise we're not going to get any sleep. If you turn the lights off, you'll never know. Going to supper, we've just spent about 13 hours in Hanoi, um, feeling very jet lagged. This is our night. We're going to go to sleep on here apparently. And then hopefully we'll be able to spend the day in supper and then we've got another night and then we'll spend another day and then we've got another night and then there's a whole other journey. But this is like the proper start of our journey. And this is our dinner. Um, one thing I have noticed is that you cannot get away in Vietnam by not having plastic. Um, we got a coffee earlier and they gave us three plastic straws in our coffee cup. Um, so I apologise in advance for the amount of plastic you might see. But it's really hard to work out what else to do. And we made it to supper. Hey! I got like no sleep. And um, we got here super early in the morning. It was like an hour's drive from the airport, uh, from the, airport, from the station. We got to our hotel. Um, we've got the most amazing view ever. As if that is the view from our hotel room. Literally insane. We also got upgraded to a suite um, because our room wasn't ready or something and it was our honeymoon. It did still cost us a little bit extra so we were all a bit confused. But <laughs> it was either that or we sat and waited till 2pm. Bearing in mind this is like 6am, 6, 6 6.30am. It was either that or wait until 2 p.m. for our room to be ready. And we were like, bro, we'll pay an extra 15 US dollars or whatever it was. So here we are. Joke is, we don't actually know what size our original room was going to be. So this could just be our original room. Um, and we just paid extra for it. Who knows? actually about an hour now and we've made it to Cat Cat village um, that's a dog it's quite a lot of stray dogs and I feel really bad about them at least I think they're stray they might not be Ryan keeps saying that they look very well fed to be stray which is true to be fair they make Juno look malnourished <laughs> yeah Juno does and we we basically walked past about a thousand people trying to sell us stuff um, whilst looking at incredible views. Considering that like I do YouTube and Instagram for a job, I'm very judgmental when I see people queuing for a little photo opportunity. But we just got up here and I was like, actually, yeah, fair dues. The view is pretty insane. Now you might think that these girls that are wearing the outfits are local, but oh no. They've been sold those by the same people that we said no to. <laughs> hotel from a really sweaty long walk a most incredible place cat cat village but wow i am hot how long did it say it was going to take to walk like said it was going to take like 20 minutes we've definitely walked hours like hours um which is fine obviously it was on our list to do 
but we, I wouldn't have planned to do that today when we're super jet lagged and tired. We walked five miles. Five miles. What did it say? 650 <laughs> meters. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, we've come back and look what they've done to our bed. It says happy honeymoon and look at that. I mean, it's so sweet, but I feel like my sister would appreciate this more. Amelia would love this. She loves this stuff. The only thing I was worried about was when we were on the train, the cockroaches we think came with the bananas. When I was in Thailand, I woke up and there was a scorpion that had come from the flower basket. So I was a bit paranoid that there might have been something from the rose petals, but it doesn't look like there is. Super sweet, what a surprise. Look, Ryan's getting all gushy. Ah, yeah. My Fanta is literally green. Oh my God, is I'm mine gonna be blue? Neon green. Is mine gonna be neon blue? <laughs> oh no. Good morning, everybody. I've woken up with a blown up ankle. I got bitten only once though, and I actually think it wasn't here. I think it was in the first place. My ankle's been itchy for a while, for like two days. Anyway, it's nice and red now. I'm allergic to like any form of like mosquito bites. Um, so I don't think it's anything to worry about, hopefully. It's nice and red though, and blown up. We are, I don't know if you can see, at the top of there, we are going up there today. It's the most incredible day. It's a clear blue sky. So we're gonna see if we can see any views at the top of the mountain. We're, Although, we're trekking up. We did a track. We are not trekking staying up. Staying in some people's homes. Ryan wanted to do this <laughs> and I said no, and I'm so pleased I didn't because we've realized that some of the homestays that are advertised are actually just hostels. Um, <laughs> What's wrong with the hostel? No, nothing, but You've it's not... You've been scared after your cockroach train experience. Well, that wasn't nice. <laughs> nothing wrong with the hostel, but it's not a homestay. That's, yeah, that's the thing. True. Anyway, we've got amazing views from here as well, so God knows what the view's going to be like up there. We'll probably realise actually they're better d up down below because you can actually see stuff. So that's what we're going to do today, isn't it? Yeah, boy. I've never been this high up in my life. I mean, I'm sure in an aeroplane, but apart from that, I've had to borrow Ryan's jumper because I didn't really think it through. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> I didn't really think it through that it was going to be cold at the top. So you're very, it's not that cold. 